Hi Fixins, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Valerie and this is my little co-hostess, Violet. She's always with me, most of the time. She's always with me, but she's sometimes not in the camera. And she's, oh, her wanting her to be loved on with her mommy today, huh? Yes. So thank you guys for stopping by and let's get some housekeeping out of the way. If you're new here and um, we do unboxings, I do um, a lot of shopping hauls. I do Walmart hauls, grocery and non-grocery. Um, I do, um, I've been doing some uh, candle, not candle hauls, but I've been doing some, uh, we're doing a candle haul today. Um, I do some um, Bath and Body Works hauls as well. Um, and just a little bit of this, a little bit of that. I do some cooking. I do some, um, I've been trying to get, to do some, get more get ready with me, but I just seem not to have the time lately. And so I just kind of do a little bit of this, a little bit of that. So if you, that, that's something you're interested in, we would love to have you as part of our family. So click the subscribe button before you leave and click the notification bell. So you'll be notified of all my new uploaded videos that I come out with. Okay, so today, guys, we are doing a candle haul. Um, there has been um, somewhat of a candle shortage in the United States. Um, recently, um, a candle company in Kentucky, I guess, was destroyed during the tornado. So, and I think they were like um, somehow connected or tied to uh, Bath and Body Works. So um, their candles, I know they have increased in price. I know Kingle, Kring, Kingle, <laughs> Kringle candles have increased their pricing. And I'm not sure about Yankee. I don't know if they've increased theirs or it's coming. Um, so yeah, um, evidently that factor, that company had a, has a lot to do with the candles. So um, whenever I see them on sale, I try to grab them. Um, I'm a firm believer. I normally just get most of my candles from Walmart anyway. Um, and I think they're, you know, pretty decent candles for the price. And um, yeah, I'm just going to burn them. So as long as they smell good and they're not, you know, they're not harming my body or harming my home or anything like that, then I'm good with them. Um, so, um, <clears throat> excuse me, about a week ago, I think it was a week, well, duh, it was <laughs> the day after Christmas. <laughs> yeah, it was a week ago. Okay, the day after Christmas, uh, Walmart's, uh, all their Christmas stuff went half off, half 50% off. Well then, so, and I, I didn't really get into buying too much this year, but I did find a couple candles that I wanted. So I'm going to show you those candles that I got. So I tried this winter fireside. This is a mainstay candle. This is their three wick. I burnt this already. I've already burnt this. Um, I've gotten these candles a lot. You know, I've had like lavender ones. I've had, um, I don't know, some, uh, just a bunch of different kinds of these little, and they're nice candles. I mean, they're normally like three bucks, three something. And I noticed that these went up too. These are, um, let me look here. I, they used to be 333 and I think they did go up. Let me look here at my, uh, wrong one. 398. Is it 398? That's the wrong name. Yeah, I think 398 is. No, this I had the right receipt to begin with. 397, I'm sorry. I think it's 397. No, that's still not the right receipt. What the heck? What did I do with my other receipt? It must be up there. So I think they're up to 396 to 398 now. So anyway, I got these, this 50% off, which it was like $1.98, I think I got. So this was the Winter Fireside. Um, it doesn't tell you what the notes are or anything, but Fireside is probably very popular this year. Um, so I assumed, and I smelt it before I purchased it, that it was going to be kind of smoky. And it is. It's, it's a smoky Fireside type candle. It's kind of like... Um, a woody note, woody notes with it, and um, it has a little bit of a sweet, sweet note to it too. But 
Um, yeah, I find these candles pretty decent. Um, they burn even, as you can see. See how even that burnt? And um, I trimmed the wicks down to a quarter of an inch before I burned them. And it threw, I mean, it threw smell out, you know. Um, I normally just burn one of these candles in my living room and kind of test out, see how far out it goes. I have bedrooms, I have a hallway and bathrooms and bedrooms this part of the house. And I have kitchen and dining area at this part of the house. So um, I can normally tell, you know, how well it's going to be and how much it's going to throw by how far I can smell it throughout the house. Um, this one is not a super, super duper strong candle. So even though it's kind of smoky, it, it doesn't smell smoky when you're burning it. Um, it smelled really good. I was really, actually really liked it. So yeah, I was okay with that. So for $1.98, you know, I'll burn it up. I'll burn it up for $1.98. The next candle I got was Santa's Workshop. I haven't burned this one yet, but it's another three wicker. And dollar ninety eight and that three or three ninety eight three ninety six. I paid a dollar ninety eight because I got half off, and it kind of smells like it's got some peppermint in it. I don't know what else, but it's got some type of peppermint in it, I believe. So I'm anxious to burn this and see what that's what that's like too. But like I said, yeah, these candles are pretty de decent. I've used these quite a bit. Um, and they're reasonably priced. I mean, then they have all kinds of scents. I mean, all kinds. And then they, you know, the fall and Christmas ones are now being clearanced out and they're bringing in the new spring and summer scents. And so they're very economical. So um, I do know, I'm not sure about Kringle Company or Yankee. I know some of Yankees because they're sold in store. Um, but uh, as far as Kringle, I don't know what they charge for their candles. And I do know that Bath and Body Works candles one of their three wicks is like twenty five fifty, and their new ones that are coming out are going up to like I don't know I think some of them are like twenty nine fifty, some of them are twenty six or twenty seven, so they've gone up in price. So I when if I do purchase them, I always make sure they're on sale. I wait till they're on sale, and I have been purchasing some of them lately, more recently. So um, that's my one deal here that I got from Walmart. Um, this is also a mainstay. All right, guys. So then after I purchased those a few days later, everything went 75% off. So I was up there, looked, and I went and looked and seen if there's any more candles. And by gosh, there was more candles. I could not believe it. So I stocked up. You better believe I stocked up. I did some stocking up, guys. I did, I did, I did. And actually, no, I didn't. Those are the only two candles I got that day. Okay, so I stocked up again a couple days later. So what I really went ahead and stocked up on, let me find it. Let me find it here. Okay. I decided to try this one. These are This is a Better Homes and Gardens candle. These are very nice candles. I like the packaging. I mean, I like the way it looks. It's kind of like a frosted glass. And on the front, it, says, it tells you the Better Homes and Gardens and what it is, what candle it is, and what the notes are. So this one, it's kind of hard to see, but it is a smoked cedar and snow. It is um, smoked cedar wood, pine, cade, jasmine, vetiver, and sandalwood scent notes. Okay, so this is very smoky and woody, kind of like the uh, first one I showed you. The oh, what is that called? That one, Winter Fireside. Okay, so this candle was normally nine ninety seven, nine ninety eight, and I ended up getting it for seventy five percent off. Which would uh, brought it down to, I think it was two something. Where's it at? Maybe this, no. 
yeah, it was two something. Anyway, I'm not going to spend too much time on that. But yeah, so I brought it down to like two dollars and something. Yes, two something. Sorry, there's fireworks or something going on. Um, it is New Year's Eve, and every day, Happy New Year, Happy New Year's, guys. Happy Happy New Year's. So anyway, so I went ahead and grabbed this. This is just a two wicker. And these burn really nice too. They are, um, and this threw a lot of scent. It did, it did throw scent. And I love that smoky, woody, jasmine-y. It has a little bit of jasmine in it. I really like this scent. Um, some people may not like that smoky, but I've really been into it lately. Um, even in the Bath and Body Works, I like the scents that have a little bit of that smoke in there. And um, yeah. Violet doesn't like those noises. <laughs> you okay, sissy? You okay, little girl? It's okay. Okay, so I got this one. So I thought that was a deal. And then, guys, I got, I found these. these I got four of these. I'm just going to show you to you here. I bought four. And these, I don't even know what brand these are. Just this highly fragrance candle. It's a Walmart candle. I don't know if it's a mainstays. It just says that it's just Walmart, all rights reserved, distributed by Walmart. Hmm. I don't know. Anyway, so I thought these were kind of cute. They reminded me a lot of Bath and Body Works candle, three wick candles. And this was the fresh baked cookies. And the notes are butter, brown sugar, and vanilla. I thought, ooh. So I sniffed it and I thought, ooh, I really didn't care for it too much. Let me put this one back. I kind of didn't really um, like it too much, not being, not have, and coal, and the cold scent. This is a two wicker. It's not a three wicker. You can tell this is the one I burnt. So I decided to bring it home, get them. I brought, brought them home. I thought I'm going to try them and see what happens. So I'm not sure how much these were. I think these were, I don't know, remember, but they end up being not very much money to bring home. <laughs> I think they ended up being like, oh, okay, right here. They were $6.97. Yep, six ninety seven, and I got them for eighty seven cents a piece. So when I I was like, yeah, buddy, I'm taking four. So I brought four home, and I burnt one. I thought, well, if I don't like it, I could always take it back and return it. But I brought home and I burn it, and it smells really, really good. Yeah. So this one's staying. So um, yeah, I'm kind of set for next year. I mean, because I probably won't go through all these until like next year. So um. Yeah, I don't mind having candles sitting around and storing them for like a year. But I like this. I mean, this fresh baked cookie, you know, you can you can burn these anytime. You know, with the butter and the brown sugar and the vanilla. Mm, that's a good one. And it, it really does. It was really good smelling. So I was I was thrilled that I'm saving some money getting these candles, guys. Okay, then I got some, let's see, oh, these. Then I was sniffing around. I was sniffing around at Walmart, guys. Let me tell you what I found. I found some candles. <laughs> That's what I found. <laughs> oh. Sorry, I'm thirsty and, oh, I got blankets all piled up over here. So anyway, I got this one. And I don't know what brand this one is either. It's probably Walmart. But I thought this was cute. They don't have lids. They just have little plastic things on them. Which I don't care. And let's see if these are distributed by Walmart. Yes. These are also Walmart. These are also Walmart. So, I had to sniff them. This one oh, is a little too wicker. And this is so good. 
I love this scent. And I knew I was getting it right away. And it is Country Holiday Winterberry Snowdrop Petals and Cypress. And it's kind of perfumey and kind of sweet. And oh, I just love that scent. I really do. So I bought two of them. And I had to dig around to find the second one. So these ended up being, I think these were um, also, these were 80 cents. Yeah, these were 80 cents. And it doesn't tell me on here what they were. No, wait, that's not it. Is that it? Oh, let me look here. No, yeah. Yeah, these were 80 cents because there's only two of them. So 80 cents for these candles that you cannot beat 80 cents for a 14 ounce two wick candle okay you can't beat it you know so i've not burned these yet so i'm hoping that they'll smell really good i think they will like i said i've never really had too many problems or anything uh with walmart's candles okay and then this guy is really cute and i was gonna i tried to find some more of these because i wanted a few more but i couldn't find any so this is called Pumpkin Weather, and it's going to be a fall candle, as you can tell. And this has apple, pumpkin, and molasses in it. Now, I was kind of on the troll. I was trolling around this fall to find a sweeter pumpkin scent because I don't want just a spicy one. I have spicy ones already. You know, that spicy, like pumpkin spice. But I like that at times, but there's times I want not so much the spice, but just a sweet pumpkin smell. So that's why I was really thrilled to find this one. And it's not real strong, but I can smell the apple. And I think once you burn it, you want to smell it, baby girl? Oh, yes, smell it good, doesn't it? Nope, you don't like it. No lickings. I can smell, really smell the apple and the pumpkin. And I think when you really start burning it and getting that warmed up, I think the molasses will come through. So I'm really happy about that. I just wish I had found two of these. And I think this one, let me look here. I think this was like 87 or 89 cents too. Yeah, I think there was like 87, 80, 87 or 86, something like that. So once again, and this one is a 14 ounce candle as well. So cute candles, really cute candles. I'm really liking this style of candles too. And I also decided to pick up another one of these, the Santa's Workshop. So I went ahead and picked up another one of these at 75 percent off so it was like right at a dollar like like a buck like right at 97 cents i think for this one so i picked up so i got two of these next year all right and that was santa's workshop all right and then i found some bigger candles and at first i was kind of avoiding these because i figured oh they're gonna be really expensive you know and i thought well wait 75 percent off maybe i can afford to get them so I went ahead and smelt this guy, and I got two of these. Let me get him up here. So I got two of these guys. These are Better Homes and Gardens. And this is patchouli and balsam, which I love patchouli. And these are 18 ounce candles. And they are just two wicks. And I smelt it and I was like, oh yes, this is wonderful. And this has notes of patchouli, balsam, black cypress, fir, spiced sage, and vetiver scent notes. And I've not burnt this yet, but you can smell a little bit of all that. And it just, it smells so good. Okay, so these were like 13 bucks a piece, 12 something. Twelve eighty seven or something like that, and I end up getting these guys. Let's see, they were. 
Nope, that's the wrong. I keep grabbing the wrong receipt here. Three dollars and twenty-one cents each. Three dollars and twenty-one cents each, guys. I mean, this is a good sized candle, and they're hefty. I mean, they are hefty, and they're in that frosted glass again. So I got two of those. I got glass. My table's partially glass, so I'm being careful here. So I got those. And then I decided, well, I like that smoke one so well. I went ahead and got two of the bigger ones. And this is the Better Homes Garden Smoke Cedar and Snow again. And these were $3.21 as well. I got two wicks. And they are wonderful. Same size. They're 18 ounces. And I already have the other one, too. So I got a couple of those. Three of those now. And then we're getting there, guys. I had seen these, and I smelled them. And I didn't think they smelled very pepperminty. So um, peppermint and cream. I was kind of intrigued with the scent, and um, I kind of thought there's, that pink was kind of pretty. It's a two wicker, and it, it's, when I smell it, I smell a little bit of the peppermint, but mostly cream, cream scent. So the notes are on this, peppermint, spearmint, caramel, milk, vanilla, and sugar crystal scent notes. And I burnt one of them. Yes, I burnt this one. Because I was curious and what I was curious is what to that smelled like. And it smelled wonderful. Oh my gosh. It was just a beautiful, not overpowering, but it just filled my home up with those scents. I mean, I didn't really smell much of the peppermint, to be honest, but I smelled the caramel and a little bit, you know, maybe a little bit of the sweetness there, but it was it's wonderful. I'm glad I really got these to try out. So let that be a lesson that you know, just because something smells a certain way, um, when you uh, smell it before it's burnt, it may change when you burn it to something different. So I got these for three twenty one as well. Okay, so I think that's all the candle candles I got, guys. So, I went over there. I had, to, earlier tonight I went out for dinner with my family. And then on the way home I decided, oh, I'm going to go to Walmart. There were some other things I wanted to pick up. And I needed some gro a few little grocery things. So I thought, well, I'll run out there before I go home. Because it was early. It was you know, like 6.30. So, I ran to Walmart and... I thought, well, I'll stroll by the candle aisle to see what's left. There's probably nothing much left. So I strolled through there, and there was um, not really a whole lot of candles left. Um, there was some of these, but they were in a different set that I didn't really like at all. So um, I just passed them by. But they did have these guys. They had wax melts, and I like wax melts. I have a lot of wax melt things. Um, melter things throughout the house. I've got two in here. I got one in the kitchen, and uh, I think I got one in my bedroom. And I got these the plugins in each one of each of my bathrooms. So I I melt wax a lot. So I decided to try this one. Uh, Better Homes and Gardens. This is Palo 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 Santo and Violet. And of course, since it was Violet, I had to pick it up and smell it. And this. It's wonderful. It's very, it's perfumey and it's kind of deep. If you've ever smelled black amethyst, um, like the black amethyst uh, bath and body work scent, it kind of reminds me of that. Not completely, but it kind of reminds me of that. And the notes are citrus, oriental, violet, woods, amber, and sweet scent notes. And this stuff is wonderful. So I got these three. So I get up there and I figured, oh, they're going to have to figure out 75%. 
And they got the kid that was helping me because they had to override him at the register. He came up there and he just started putting in 50 cents for all of them. I said, oh, they're all 50 cents? He goes, yeah, they're all now just 50 cents. So I got even, I think that was like, I think I got 85% off on these. So I was like, oh my gosh, that's great. So I got three of these. And then I seen this guy, uh, Better Homes and Gardens, Vanilla and Cookie Crunch. It is shortbread cookie, buttercream, and vanilla scent notes. I picked this up and it smells wonderful. It does. It smells like a shortbread vanilla cream cookie. So I got that for 50 cents. And then I thought, you know, I really don't have anything chocolatey. And I'd kind of like to have something more chocolatey. So then I happened upon these guys. The Better Homes and Gardens Brownie and Pecan Pie. And I thought, hmm, I never tried that. So let's try it. Oh my gosh. It does smell like brownie pecan pie. It's chocolatey. You smell the pecan pie in there. It's kind of got a little bit of a spice, and the notes are candy pecans, brown sugar, molasses, whiskey, and chocolate brownie scent notes, and it's wonderful. Once again, I got these for 50 cents a piece. Okay, then I noticed they had Yankee Candle stuff up there, too. So I saw these, and these are the Christmas, candle Christmas cookie. And these were, I think, $4 now. These were up to $4.12 or something like that. Normal price. And I got these for 50 cents a piece, guys. I was like, yay. And that might be, that might be more than 85%. I don't know. But these smell good, too. I think um, this smells a little bit better than these, but. Once I get them in the warmers, there's probably not going to be much of a difference, to be honest. So, yeah, I got these. And these have, I don't know if they have the scents on here. I don't know if they have the notes on here. This is Yankee, let's see. No, it doesn't. It does not have the scents in here on this one. So... It's just Christmas cookie, guys. Okay, I got two of them. And last, guys, here we are. We're almost done here. Um, I seen these Holiday Hearth. And I grabbed both of these. And this is the smoky type scent, too. And I thought, wow, I could just, you know, use help. I like to use kind of the similar scents as what I'm burning with a candle because it kind of helps really just emit a little bit more of that scent throughout the whole house. And it may not be exact, but, oh, I was like, smell. <laughs> I'm tired, guys. Yeah, it smells really smoky and it doesn't have the scent notes on it. But anyway, I got these for 50 cents a piece too. And I did get one item that was not a, I got some other ones too, but I forgot um, to bring those out. Um, they're like little tubes and they had like, um, oh, Body Fantasies. I think it was Body Fantasies. Little uh, like hand creams and hand washes and sprays. There was like a Christmas cookie. There was a mocha latte one. There was one that had like uh, three or four different sprays um, in it as well. So I got several of those. Those are three bucks a piece and I ended up getting them for 75 cents a piece. So I was happy about that. And then they had some of this up front there and I had been buying a lot of Bath and Body Works lately. So I didn't really feel like I needed this, but I did want to try this brand out. Um, this has um, been in Walmart for, I don't know, for a couple of years now. And I've never really tried them out because I thought they were kind of expensive. I mean, this bottle is like seven bucks normally. Um, Find Your Happy Place is, I think, the brand. And this is Winter Wonderland Body Lotion. And the scent is Candy Cane and Balsam Fur. I am a sucker for um, peppermint. Anything peppermint. 
So I thought, oh, I'll smell it. Oh, and it smells wonderful. And it smells really wonderful. It's kind of perfumey with the balsam in there and the candy cane. It really is wonderful. And so, um, yeah, when I got to the register, this ended up being like, um, what was it, like 89 cents? I don't know. I don't know how they figured it out because it didn't ring up for $6.97. It rang up for like $3.98. And I don't know. So 75% off $3.98 was like 87 cents or 89 cents, something like that. So that's what they gave it to me for. So I did get one body lotion. And that is my Walmart haul, guys. My Walmart candle haul. So let me know what you think down below. Do you guys get Walmart candles? Do you not like the Walmart candles? Um, I did get some of the mainstays, but I also got quite a bit of the Better Homes and Gardens, which I think are a really good brand of candles. And they are a little bit more pricey, but man, when you can find them out in clearance like that, it's really a good thing to st grab a few of them, you know, like I did. I grabbed a lot. Um, so the times that you really need to watch out for, um, the sales is like the, when the seasons change. Okay. You know, after Christmas, they want to get the fall candles and the Christmas candles out of there because the spring are going to come in and just like close to the end of the summer, they're going to get rid of the spring and summer to bring the fall in. And that normally occurs in about July to August. I was going to say August would be late probably to get that stuff out because it's always really early, um, maybe even June. Um, so you just kind of watch out for that. Like when you notice that like the, uh, they've put like maybe a couple fall clothed clothing out, or you see that, uh, they're getting some fall stuff out. That's when you want to start looking and watching for the sales because they will occur. They go to the clearance aisles, um, check you know, on the red, the aisles themselves, check the end caps because that's where they put a lot of their stuff a lot of times. So watch for the deals, guys. Don't pay full price for stuff. I hardly ever pay full price for anything. Um, even when I buy online, I wait for sales and then I really just stock up on whatever I may need. Same with my Bath and Body Works. I have not paid full price for any of my items. And I'm getting some really killer deals, guys. And I'm earning some free stuff as well by having a rewards, you know, use, uh, earning rewards points for, you know, things that I've purchased. And they sent me some coupons. I got a coup another coupon for 20% off of my total order. And they sent me a coupon for another free item. And I'm like, oh my gosh, you know, this company wants to give me free stuff all the time. I'll go for that. <laughs> no problem. So anyway, let me know below if you guys like Walmart candles, if you like their homes and gardens candles. They do have other candles there as well. Um, but I just didn't um, happen upon those. Those I didn't see that were really for sale on the clearance aisle. Um, and maybe they were before. Um, and I just didn't see them because maybe they sold out. Who knows? So thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching me. I do appreciate it. And I'm trying to pre-record some stuff tonight so that I got some stuff to put up next week. And um, yeah, because I'm going to be hitting it hard with the overtime again. So I hope you all have a happy, happy new year. And I hope you had a great Christmas. So we will see you. I will see you guys on the next time around. Okay. Love you guys. Bye-bye.